everything I have, everything I own, everything I eat. Why do you feel you can, you're scared to die? If you come and it's your fate that you come and you get sick and die, it's Qadr. How could you try to escape your fate? So Umar radiallahu anhu wrote a simple response. He goes, I leave the Qadr of Allah to a Qadr of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Should I take this job or this job? Qadr is here, Qadr is here. Rizq is here, Rizq is here. Should I invest? Should I buy? Should I sell? Should I go? Should I travel? Should I? From one Qadr to the next, both of them are Qadr. All of it is in the knowledge of Allah. All of it is in the will of Allah. And you cannot choose something that is not in your qadr without disobeying Allah. Why is stealing haram? Because you are taking your qadr before its time. When you steal, it's your money. You took $10,000 from someone by stealing it. Allah had written your rizq that you would get 10000 But you're taking it in a time that is not your qadr. Had you waited, the 10,000 is yours because you're not going to take anything that doesn't belong to you. Not a sip of water or coffee, except it's written for you with Allah. The halal of it and the haram. But when you take it in haram, when you take it in riba, when you invest in a haram company, you make a profit. That money was coming to you, but you took it, why? with a dissatisfaction of your qadr. Why does somebody steal? I'm not happy. I want more than what my qadr is, so I'm going to take what is in mine legitimately, but it's actually yours, but before it's legitimate. You're stealing from yourself, injuring yourself. My name is Raja Nadia Sabrina. I am a wife, a mother, a blogger. I'm a fighter of um, multiple chronic illnesses and also autoimmune disease. Actually, this is the first time that I've actually been out because 90% of the time in the shower, I've been just lying down because I'm in a lot of pain. So actually, it is sort of an achievement for me to be here. From these three days, there are so many lessons learned that I know you know, it is such a comfort for, for whatever that I'm going through right now. And he said, study, studying the Quran is more important than any other education in life. So for me, like, I'm uh, someone yang uh, macam baru nak like, really start to study the Quran, like the meaning and the tafsir and everything. So I think that's a good reminder for all, all of us. My name is Navid. I am from Bangladesh. This is the first time that I'm actually doing tafsir with Al Maghrib and it's been it's very enriching. I, I I highly recommend uh, it to, to people who would like to know the Deen, who would like to know the Quran. I think the beauty of programs like this is uh, within a short period of time, uh, in a day or two days, it gives us an introduction, a flavor of uh, the wonderful stories inside Quran that makes uh, the whole experience uh, much, much more enriching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to your brother Yahya Ibrahim. I'm really honored to share with you a project that is, I believe, a benefit. It's, I hope, inshallah, a benefit for you and your families. Two important books that I think that uh, I've collaborated on. Love Stories from the Quran. You might have attended some of my seminars where I speak about the lives of the prophets, but retell the story from a framework of love. Forbidden love, sinful love, but also the love of Allah and the love of society and the love of others. It's meant to be a framework that leads us to that which is empowering in our relationship with God. The other one is a juz a day, meaning a section of the Quran a day. In 30 different chapters, you'll be able to get a summary of the entirety of the Quran in bit-sized pieces that will make you very well acquainted with the overall themes and messages of the Word of Allah. I pray that it was a benefit to you and your family. It's your brother Yahya Ibrahim. Wassalamu alaikum.